Hey, hey, viewers and vloggers. So I kind of want to update you guys on everything that's been going on with me. But really quick, you see this crap on my face? Well, it was a healing scab. And then I picked at it because I didn't want it to be in the video. And now there's probably going to be a scar. Not. Anyways, so besides me looking like a straight fool in this video, I removed everyone off of Facebook because I felt as though I was becoming too sensitive and that... The feeling of everyone else's lives just kind of going on without me, I felt very, um, I felt like I needed to remove myself from the situation. So I removed everyone off Facebook and I kind of just use it as a way to update Hudson's Plus One and to kind of tag Christopher in any pictures of Clara because I know that um, our families probably really want to see that. It's just that right now I don't feel as though I'm strong enough to really deal with um, the opinions of other people on what I should do with my life. So that's no offense to everyone else, I just felt like a lot of, uh, I felt like Facebook just had a very big impact on the way that I was healing and it was not a very good, um, it was not a very good outlet. So I have removed Facebook and I now have a blog, it's called Thoughts of a Voluntary Social Outcast. And it's really helped me a lot to kind of just push my feelings out there and um, kind of get back to who I am. So lastly, on my little update, on Friday in the morning, we're going to be doing another 5K run. I'm so excited. I just can't fight it. I love 5K runs. Okay, so after that, I'm going to go see my doctor to make sure that everything is going smoothly and to kind of ask about what's going on with my body. And yeah. So, it's pretty much everything that's going on with me. Alright, so now that I kind of talked about what's going on in my life, I really want to uh, talk about what we're going to be using to boost our chances of getting pregnant. Uh, AKA, what are we using? So hopefully in this video, I'll be able to uh, tell you everything that we're using and help somebody else that might be trying to conceive. So, I'm just going to kind of say everything that we're using and then each week I'll talk about some of the products so that you kind of get more understanding of how to use it and what it's all about. Alright, so first I'm going to start off with things that I used when I conceived with the twins. And let's start with that. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is food. Blueberries. Blueberries are really rich in antioxidants and it also helps to prevent the aging and damaging of your reproductive cells. So this is hugely important. Another good berry to eat is raspberries. Next is spinach leaves. I use spinach leaves and I used to um, put it in a salad and I would put the blueberries inside the salad. It was really, really good and really healthy for you because spinach leaves has zinc, folic acid, antioxidants, and iron which a lot of the times people have iron deficiencies and don't even know it, so spinach leaves. Last but not least, milk. Whole milk to be exact. Whole milk uh, promotes fertility while 2% and less promotes infertility. Um, don't know if you knew that, but now you do. Um, whole milk is really good in bone health and it also is really good for your reproductive system. I'm actually going to drink it right here on camera to show you how important it really is. <sighs> okay, so that was really good. Next, I'll be talking about the products that we used. First off are these ovulation strips from Walgreens. There's 20 test strips in here and it was $20 at, of course, Walgreens. It is really good for detecting when you ovulate. I had really good success with this. Free seed and this is actually a lubricant and even if you might feel as though you don't need it, I still strongly recommend it because it's not just about lubricating, it is about creating a friendly environment for sperm, you know, because sperm can usually live up to five to seven days. However, uh, with pre-seed, it gives them a better chance of actually living up to seven days. And so that is that. Next up is the Diva Cup. So I really want to talk about how I chose the Diva Cup over the Soft Cups. The reason being is because I feel as though um, it's much more dependable and 
I've just heard a lot of things about the soft cups being hard to take out and uh, hurting at times. Uh, I'm going to tell you that this was $40 and I got it online, I think at Amazon. And it's well worth the price because even if you don't get pregnant, it's really good for your periods. So uh, it comes with the wash for this. And this is reusable. Um, I'm going to actually show you what it is. Okay, so it's just like this cup. And it has like this right here to help you pull it out. We also use prenatal vitamins. Prenatal vitamins are very good for when you're trying to conceive, when you are pregnant, and when you're breastfeeding. So make sure that you pick up some prenatals from your doctor. So adding to the list of things that we were using last time, I'm going to start with foods. Okay, so the first thing up on our list for foods is water. Lots and lots and lots of water. I mean, I drank a good amount last time when I tried to get pregnant, but um, I didn't know the benefits of it. So I'm actually going to put a link in the description box below to show you 12 reasons why water is so very important when you're trying to conceive. Seaweed, and in Hawaii we actually call it nori. I think in Japan they call it that too. But um, seaweed is also very, very, very important. I'm actually going to put a link down in the description box below for that as well to show you why it's so important. It is actually the new superfood of fertility. So might want to read up on that. So now I'm going to talk about the products that we're adding. First up is Fertilade. Now this is for women and this one's for men and it's natural supplements in order to help with both male and female fertility. So even if you aren't having problems with fertility, it's good just to take them anyways. Next up on our list is a basal thermometer. You can actually get this at Walmart for like less than $8. And um, you can take it orally or vaginally. And it does come with these little, um, uh, I like to call them thermometer condoms because I don't know what they're called. So um, they come with like five or six of these. And so I'm guessing if you did want to use it um, down there, then that's what these are for. Okay, the last product that we're going to be using is AvaQ. And it's this monitor. This monitor, okay, along with a tongue sensor for your saliva and a vaginal sensor. I know it's really awkward to see, but... <laughs> It's an, a vaginal sensor, okay, and it comes in a discreet little bag so you could travel with it. Um, and that really predicts um, your ovulation. Very, very lastly, I want to talk about a very good website that I found, and I'm sure everyone else will love it. It's called CountdownToPregnancy.com. Wish you all luck, and like I said, in the next videos that I'll be doing, I'll be talking more about the products so that, you know, you can kind of get a feel of how they work and what they're supposed to do, everything else like that. So thank you for watching. <laughs>